Oh, very nice for Robert, spending a week with your ashes. You've always said, Sandra, that we should be courageous and adult enough to make big decisions. Yeah, I've said that. Well, I've just made one. What is it? I don't want to live to make any more. Beryl! And since you and Paul are so fond of glasses, you can have mine and have a lens each. Beryl! <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> it's no use, Beryl. You've got to face facts. Today's the day you get your glasses and Robert. And sulking's not going to solve anything. Oh, come on, Beryl. You didn't really want to die. We did you a favor. Do you call this a favor? <laughs> Sorry, Beryl. I'll buy you an eye patch. I'm so bruised, I look like a Dalmatian. <laughs> trying to help. Help? The way your Paul opened that door. So I wonder I'm not flat-chested, too. <laughs> Very nice for Robert coming all the way from London to see a short-sighted, flat-chested Dalmatian. <laughs> right, Beryl, we're here. And what's more, when you get your glasses, you wear them all the way home. been so embarrassed in my life. <laughs> and I don't like these either. <laughs> I just don't like them, Sam. You should have thought of that before you chose them, shouldn't you? And then after you tried every pair on in the shop, you said you wouldn't get home until the cashier gave you his. <laughs> I liked his better. That does not give you the right to leap on him and grab them, does it? Well, I gave them in back, didn't I? Took four of us, though, didn't it? Oh, come on, Beryl. Beryl. Be confident. Hold your head up high. Face the world. Thanks, Sam. Excuse me, uh, have you got a two people, two oh, pennies? I've got one. Oh, tell me, what's your name? Sandra Hutchinson. Um, thank you very much. Still three nil. You should see yourself in those. Come on. Hello, darling. Hello. 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 
your bra and what the Lord has forgotten I've stuffed with cotton. <laughs> you look a bit top heavy. Oh nice. Very nice. On you it's sexy, on me it's top heavy. I didn't say it wasn't sexy. Oh well at least it makes me forget me glasses. Don't know about glasses, you need a periscope to see over that lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't know how you've managed all these years. <laughs> do with it when you go to bed? <laughs> Take it with me, what do you think? Well, I know that, but I mean, where does it go? It doesn't go anywhere. It just sort of drifts. <laughs> Mine doesn't drift, it just disappears. <laughs> My dad's got more than me. <laughs> oh, well, at least your eyes better than half the black now. No, it's doing the full traffic lights bit now. Red to amber, amber to green, green. <laughs> Let's cover it up, come on. Oh, Sandy, you know, you could have got a pink one. My eye looks better than this. <laughs> look at it, look. <laughs> I be your long-sided lover from the <laughs> That's not Robert. No, he said he'd ring before he came. Oh. Go on, you go and answer the door. It's such a shock, thank you, Sandy. I've just come to tell our Beryl about her uncle Dermot. Hello, Mrs. Hennessy. How are you? Oh, well, I do. Where's our Beryl then? Oh, shut up, ma'am. I'm here. <laughs> My good fathers, what happened? <laughs> Who did it? I'll kill him. Nobody did anything. Now, look, you don't get a black eye like that sitting knitting. And glasses and all. Well, she just had her eyes tested, you see. Look, the Hennessy's don't have anything tested. We go out of this whale the way we came in. Hunter guarantee. <laughs> well, what about me dad? What should I got to do with it? He wears glasses. Happen I take after him? Nobody takes after him. I've seen to that. <laughs> Mrs. Hennessy, when you first saw Mr. Hennessy in glasses, it didn't put you off him, did it? Well, no, of course it didn't. I've been off him for years. <laughs> well, the doctor says I've got to wear glasses. Don't give me doctors. They talk to the old in their stethoscopes. Do you know, Queen, when she was on the way, they told me I was going to have twins. Twins? And you remember, Belle, you hardly added up to one. <laughs> hey! What have you done to your front? <laughs> they haven't put you on that futility pill, have they? <laughs> because if you are, you're going straight down to Father O'Leary. I'm not. Do you know, Queen, this family of mine's got me heart scalded. They're in and out of that confession box like a fiddler's elbow. <laughs> that me Robert. Oh, I remember him. The one with the funny accent. Remember, be gay and happy. Gay, gay and happy. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Robert. <laughs> Heavens, it's you. <laughs> Dave's flat? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is a long time, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, yes. I've, I, I've, I've, mi I've missed you, too. Yes, it's been awful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. Yes. Yes, all right. Yes, bye. Bye. Bye, bye Robert. <laughs> Is she all right in the head? You <laughs> did rather overdo it, Beryl. Well, you said be gay and happy. You didn't need to sound like the laughing policeman. <laughs> oh, God. I think I'd better be off. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, what did I come for? Yeah, your Uncle Dermot. He's been bitten by a dog, and they've had to have him put down. <laughs> <laughs> the dog, I mean. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, hey, listen, he's here. Is it Dave's flat? He says, get a taxi and go over and he'll pay for it. Oh, great, Bill. Well, off you go. Come on. Oh. And put your spectacles in the case. Come on. There you are. And have a lovely time, Beryl. Oh. Ta ra. Sand. Sand, I'm worried. Worried? What are you worried about? Well, I mean, he might ask me to, to do something like, like read his horoscope. Your bad eyes. I'm not going to ask you to do anything. Oh, no, that's another thing I'm worried about. Beryl, are you going to be late? Go on. Come with me. Oh, Beryl, I could.
couldn't. Your first evening together after weeks apart. I wouldn't dream of it. Well, you won't have to stay for long. I mean, you can just help me to revive him and tell him about me glasses, and then we can come home together. Oh, I couldn't. I just couldn't. There he is, sitting there full of anticipation. It'd be cruel for both of us to turn up. All right. Sandra, what are we going to do about this lot? <laughs> Depends how good his memory is. <laughs> well, it's far too good. That settles it. I can't go. Of course you can go. No, I can't, Sam. Please take a letter. A letter? What sort of a letter? A letter of condolence. You send letters of condolence to people who've lost someone. Well, it's the same thing. By the time he finds out about me, me nerve rash and me bent left toe and me glasses and me black eye, I will have lost him. <laughs> Why don't you get your doctor to send a case sheet? And it's the last thing I'll ever ask you to do, I promise. I'll marry the first man that comes along our street and I'll be off your hands. Uh. Hello, Robert. Hello, Sandra. Come in. <laughs> um, I've come on behalf of Beryl. Oh. As you know, we... Well, that is, Beryl and I are very good friends. And when one of us can't do something, the other does it for her. Oh. <laughs> yes, how <I'm> jolly. <laughs> yes. So I've come here to give it to you. <laughs> the letter, I mean. Is she all right? Nothing's happened, has it? Oh, it's all there in the letter. <laughs> um, what's his last bit say? I, her writing's terrible. I can't make it out. Oh. I suppose the only thing left for me to do is to marry somebody with glasses and have lot <laughs> and have lots of short-sighted babies love Beryl. She's a nut. Where is she? In the flat. You could ring her. I could ring her neck. Oh, where are you going? To the flat, of course. Oh, Beryl be so thrilled. She's been looking forward so much to see you. It's incredible, honestly. She Oi, four eyes. <laughs> what about our date? <laughs> Snap! <laughs> 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 Dancing. Dancing. <laughs> 